Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey Bears, this week, where's Ava? Um, I'm right here, Hi. Oh, there you are. I thought you were um, busy planning the game schedule for this week. No, the mind of March is just getting to me, so let's just, let's just hand it off to the events, all right? Man, that way game was exhausting. I mean, we lost by like 50 points. I know, maybe I should just stick to watching. Hey, you're not that bad. I mean, practice makes perfect. True, but hey, that reminds me, doesn't March Madness start this week? We should try and catch a game. Yeah, but on Monday marks the start of Drug Fact Week. On Tuesday, we have a game. We have a girls tennis game versus Kennedy Catholic at 3.30 p.m. and a boys soccer game versus Auburn High School at 7.30 p.m. And lastly, we have an ASB meeting and don't forget the THS Culture Fair at 6 o'clock p.m. Yeah, and on Wednesday, we've got senior photos at 2 p.m. and feature freshman night from 6 to 8.30 p.m. On Thursday, we have a band concert at 7. And lastly, on Friday, we have a girls tennis game versus Kentwood at 3.30. Boys soccer versus Auburn Mountain Dew at 7.30, baseball versus Auburn High School at 4 o'clock. And from the 18th to the 31st, the Feminist Union is holding a high tea drive in honor of Women's History Month. You can bring pads, tampons, etc. to the box located outside the FYC. Doesn't look like I missed anything. What are your plans for this week? I'm not sure, I, but I did hear that Connor was in the CTE hallway asking some people some questions, so I'm going to go try to catch them before they wrap that up. All right. Hi, Omar. I'm Connor. I have a question for you now. How many hurdles are there in bowling? What? How many hurdles are there in bowling? You're scaring our contestant, Connor. Let me ask a simpler question. When do you think the main character of baseball is being added to Fortnite? So if a werewolf scores a hole in one or a full moon, how much is it worth? 3.5 points? It's about $15. Let's go with an easier question. Have you ever beaten Matt? <laughs> what? Is there a problem? Cut, cut. Is our sign backwards? You have one job. What are you doing? Dude, here we go. What do we pay you for? All right, so Connor's dealing with some difficulties, so it's just me for now. Next contestant. Okay, have you ever gotten a home run in basketball? Uh, where's my money? Get off the stage. All right. Question, why is March so mad? The month? Yeah, the month. It has feelings? Who made him angry? Thank you for your time. All right, we're passing this question to Connor. So I have a question. Well, thoughts? Back to our anchors. Just missed them. That sucks. I saw some of the questions that they were asking and it did not make sense at all. It was like complete madness. You know what doesn't make sense? What? I'm not having gone to bear then. Let's go see what they did.
blast. I'm thinking about going next year. Um, now let's get a word from our sponsors. Hello everyone, my name is Ezra Bott and I'm the co-president of the Asian Student Union. We were created to become a central hub for all the different student unions such as PISU and Zazu. We create a sense of fellowship and brotherhood between our different members by creating a sense of belonging. If you ever want to stop by room 212 every Gold Thursday Power Hour B. Hey everybody, my name is Ted Sharma and I am the secretary of the Asian Student Union and my job as secretary is to record and document all our meetings and everything we do in them. And one of my favorite parts about the Asian Student Union is all the potlucks and other events we do, especially when we collab with other student unions um, and how all these cultures come together in one big pot and everybody can share off of that and explore um, what other people in other, other cultures do. And if you want to join, here is our QR code. Hey Bears, we're back. My name is Riley Cavanaugh. And my name is Yes Padeo. And we're going to be the MCs for this year's slam dunk of an event, the 2024 Culture and Heritage Fair. The reason we're having this event is to foster the growing cultural diversity at Tahoma High School. With three years of development, we will be having back-to-back -back live performances, the culture and art booths, and also stories from our King County Library. This is your chance to learn something new by trying new food from our local food trucks and having conversations with a variety of backgrounds. This year's Culture Fair will be held tomorrow the 19th in the THS Commons from 6 to 8. Be sure to arrive from the student side. We 1000% recommend you come check it out and we guarantee you won't credit it. Now back to our refs. Looks like that's everything, Bears. We'll see you next week. Bye!